Okay, welcome back to the channel. We are uh, gonna go on a little winter road trip. And um, I wanted to do a little bit of testing and uh, show you kind of some of my experiences. What, um, today we're going to Quick Charge in Pleasant Prairie. Um, and uh, then we are probably hit the Iona in Janesville and maybe uh, the new Tesla supercharger in Racine. So um, nice little winter road trip. Uh, we just got three inches of snow last night. So um, hoping the roads are good. So anyway, uh, I wanted to show you, I've got the uh, ODB um, port with the, a VPeak um, communicating with my phone here. And I wanna show you what the battery um, temperature is right now. So the, the cabin is warm um, because it's been warming up for a while. Um, we're at 64% battery, as you can see there, but the battery temp is at 37. So um, we are gonna drive down to Janesville and uh, plug in at uh, Ayana and um, just see what we get without warming. And then on the way over to the quick charge, we're going to um, precondition I'll go over that once we leave Ayana or when we're ready to leave the Ayana station. And then, um, yeah, so then we'll have a good, uh, a good test with two kind of comparable um, fast charging locations. So let's drive. We'll go to number two. Yeah. All pull through stalls here. Glorious. I don't even tell. All right, so 41 degrees. This battery is pretty darn cold. And um, yeah, we're gonna plug in and see what we can get for a few minutes. Auto charge. There we go. Six seven, we're going up. To, all right, well, this is actually better than I was expecting. Still climbing. That's a fun little charge curve. Seventy five at 41% and going down. <laughs> We're going to get above 50% and then uh, probably call it.
maybe 55. Anyway, 63, not great. Cold battery, don't like taking in electrons as much. When we were here last, there were no paper towels. Oh, but. We have a different problem this time. Paper towels are here, but this is a frozen block that ain't gonna, ain't gonna work. We're at 48% now. And it keeps changing the uh, graph on me. Six kilowatt hours. You see the average is going down, which makes sense. It's so cold. There it is. I'm almost surprised that it stayed above 50. All right, we are at 50%. We are gonna get out of here. Stop it over here. We are down to 52 kilowatts. All right, let's get back on the road. Okay, how do you precondition like I did on the road trip? Well, here's what I did. <clears throat> You can go through the nav and do it that way, but here's how I did it. Go to charging, fast charge prep. Boom, get ready for fast charging, start. Ready to plug in and the battery is going to warm up. Let's connect and see what the battery temperature is. So the battery temp is 41 degrees. It's been sitting in my garage. So 41, I just hit the precondition fast charge prep button and it's gonna take it up to 70s or 80s. And that's the process on my 24 Equinox. Probably much the same on the other GM vehicles and also the Honda Prologue and the Acura ZDX, since those are basically GM vehicles as well. Other vehicles, you're going to have to figure it out, watch a YouTube video, do some searches, but the time you put into that search to, to find how you precondition is definitely going to be paid off in your faster speeds. My only other experience is in the Volvo C40, and that I had to use the nav to uh, get the battery to precondition. I would put a, uh, a charger into the nav and that car would take care of itself. If your car doesn't have a manual button like mine did and I showed you, certainly use the navigation to uh, navigate to your charging destinations and hopefully the car will take care of warming that battery up so it is ready to roll when you get to the charger. All right, well, while we're super cruising our way over to Pleasant Prairie, um, I've got the battery uh, preconditioner cranking. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna, if it would do it for a quick charge, because I'm not sure if it's actually in their maps yet. I'm guessing that we'll be at about 18%, 17%, it says now, uh, when we arrive there. So that's a pretty good, uh, opportunity if the battery's warm to get a decent uh, long full speed speed is that the right way to say it full power charge i don't know i think you know what i mean around 150 kilowatts for as long as uh, as we can um, i guess is a, another way to say it so um, yeah, we got just over an hour, 59 miles of back streets and country highways uh, in Wisconsin, Highway 14 here. Um, so I'm not even sure how, uh, how we're going. I just put it in and uh, 
Google is handling the rest. I'll steer when Super Cruise kicks off. So anyway, back to the uh, back to the adventure. Last 20 miles here to Pleasant Prairie and the battery is at a nice comfortable 78.8 or 80.6 depending on which one you're believing as it flashes. So it is uh, ready to go. All right, welcome to Quick Charge in Pleasant Prairie. Late afternoon sun blinding me. But um, so battery temp, let's check the battery temp first. Uh, last I saw it was 77, but uh, nothing like checking. Well, it says 71, so it's going down as we stopped, right? And it's getting colder. But 71 is uh, still a lot warmer than it was when we charged at Ayana. So let's get charging. Quick charge app <clears throat> number three. My countdown says 197 that I need to act before it resets. Connect and swipe to start. There we go, that was pretty quick. So I'm really curious what we're gonna see for speeds, right? So we're, we're here to visit the station, but we're also kind of testing um, battery preheating in the winter because outside it is, 19 degrees and uh, everything is kind of whirring up here. There we go. All right. So 97, 105, 113, 118. Okay. So we are at 151 right off the gate, uh, right out of the gate, right off the bat. So what did we see at Ayana? We saw 50. We peaked at 70 and then it came back down to 50s. So that was when the battery was in the 40s for temperature. Now it's 71, 70 and we're seeing full speed at 20% on the battery. 153, um, 495 amps uh, at the 309 volts. So um, good stuff. Uh, and that is why you precondition your battery. Okay, if you're not doing that, or if your car is not capable of preconditioning it, you're sacrificing all of the uh, kilowatts that um, could be had on your battery um, but uh, is un unavailable because of the temperature of the battery. Um, did it affect the range on the way over here? I'm sure it did in some way um, but uh, it's worth it for me to see that the faster speeds and the quicker charge um, because when we're at 20 percent I want to get as much into that battery as possible um, as fast as possible. So, uh, there is your quick speed report. 155.23 I saw. So yeah, the volts are coming up a little bit. Um, and, uh, the amps are staying. So, um, it is possible to get good speeds 
out of this charger. This is a 400 kilowatt charger. It is possible to get good speeds out of them, but your battery needs to be the right temperature. 63% and we just dipped under 100 kilowatts. Just left quick charge. Great stop. Good speeds, 33 minutes, 20 to 80. Um, it was a great stop. But now, uh, so let, let's kind of break down why I was able to do that. So when you go through and you precondition, it sets your battery up for success. Um, and it's not, like I set it up an hour we were more than an hour out when we left Ayana, and um, I just let let it go the entire time, and it kind of gradually warmed itself up. But um, it's not going to warm up from forty to seventy in ten minutes. It's going to take a while, you know. So warm yourself up, sure, but also make sure that you're uh, warming your battery up, and you will have a much better experience with your electric vehicle in the winter, especially in Wisconsin where it's 19 degrees. Um, I'm hoping we're going to get up above 32 uh, this week. Haven't seen it for a few, like 10 days now, I feel like. Um, got dumped with 10 inches of snow in Madison and we got three or four more last night. So uh, winter, winter is coming. Yeah, well, Maybe technically it's on the December 21st, but winter is here. If you know how to uh, make your car happy, I think it will go a long way in making you happy uh, and having to uh, deal with longer charge sessions. So um, that's all I've got for you. Hopefully uh, we learned a little something and um, yeah, always precondition. I would make sure that it's, it's preconditioning, even if it, you put in a, a destination that uh, is a charger, just in case it didn't realize that, oh, you want to charge there. Like, yeah, like when I was at 18%, my, or 19%, the car definitely knew like, oh yeah, we've got to find charging warning message, warning message. So um, if your car has the manual preconditioning, um, your, the manufacturer has set you up for success. Combos, snack and ride. All right, back to super cruise. Um, I think I've rambled enough and um, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next charge. Preconditioned one for sure.